Hi guys, very good evening from Europe. Uh, we are post US cash close March 10th, 2020. Piotr here, this is Light for the Global YouTube channel, and we are going to make an end of the US session update. Uh, plenty of interesting uh, things are going on, many, many different things. Uh, so again, good uh, very evening, good morning, maybe you are in Asia, or good afternoon, or late good afternoon, if you are in um, US. Uh, coronavirus, um, oil prices shock, uh, that's what we are going to cover uh, this evening. So without the further delay, let's jump straight into the first chart. Alright, huge engulf when it comes to the US indices, especially here, uh, we are talking about the Nasdaq. Uh, very late strong rally, right? Very strong late rally on the US indices, uh, mostly because of some kind of the um, hope when it comes to the President Trump uh, plan, when it comes to the coronavirus, uh, some kind of the uh, payroll tax cut, uh, some kind of the discussions going around. Well, the, 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 the real thing is, I'm not going to discuss with the chart, just, just to be perfectly clear, I took some shorts into the late Riley, right? Don't forget that you can monitor my real trades live, just find the link in the description, right? Um, so... You know, I'm gonna to try to be neutral, right? I took the short into that late rally. Maybe a little bit too early, but you know, guys, payroll take tax cut, it's not gonna stop the coronavirus, right? And in the second part of our meeting, we are going to discuss this coronavirus cases uh, and the, uh, the speed of the new cases uh, but first, we are going to discuss the charts. So, well, very, very nice um, engulf. So the further Riley cannot be ruled out. Now, where we are going to go? I think when it comes to the Nasdaq, because if you remember earlier today, we we're discussing S&P. So let's let's focus on Nasdaq. That's what I think we might see 8,500, 8,600 based on my chart. So that's the next possible supply. And again, I'm going to monitor my short positions uh, overnight during the Tokyo session. Now, uh, the thing is uh, that when it comes to the coronavirus, we've got some kind of the mixing numbers and probably I'm going to try to share with you that things right here right now right so we are going to have a chance to uh, to discuss it right here right now so first thing first that's how the things looks like uh in uk all right uh, why i'm showing this i'm going to get back into that later on uh so that's not going lower anytime soon. That's not going lower anytime soon. Um, so we have 373 cases uh, in total in UK and daily 52. So looks like uh, one six. So a little bit more than 15%. 15, one five, uh, 15 percent um, per day up to the upside. That's the scary, right? Total UK deaths is six. Uh, that's how it looks in Europe, in UK. 
now uh, let's have a look what we have worldwide all right so let's switch to coronavirus here i'm going to explain everything in a second why i'm watching at the particular cases now uh what we have here uh china number one um uh, and uh, new death 17 uh, total deaths three thousand plus three thousand and new cases 26 right and in my opinion uh, based on the total base on what is going on overall um, as everything in China I think it's a big fake big fake guys because uh, Chinese guys um, the Communist Party uh, they're trying to show us that everything is fine looks like the speed of the recovery uh, is great everything is fine uh, well, nothing is going to stop us now when it comes to the China. So, when it comes to the China, I think it's a big, big, big fake. I don't believe in that numbers. Uh, but there is a another country in Asia, and it's South Korea, right? And we also, here, we also have very low number when it comes to the new cases and you know what because of the huge huge effort the south korean nation is doing i truly believe i truly believe that this real number so we have some kind of the mixing stuff I don't believe at all in any kind of the positive Chinese number and I truly believe we have the positive uh, positive cases in South Korea they are doing the great great job right so unfortunately algos and some manipulators they don't care that we have the fake Chinese number so overall in China, we have the positive case, right? So means that taking into the consideration late New York rally, we might see positive sentiment when it comes to the Tokyo session. In that case, I'm a little bit worried about my shorts I have on Nasdaq. Uh, so I'm going to monitor overnight, right? These things. So let's get back for a second into the chart. Charts, right? Okay. Uh, so as I mentioned before, a little bit of Riley. That's what I really expect in case of the uh, Tokyo session and then eventually uh, some kind of the rejection so that's how I see that's how I see the US uh, indices uh, during the Tokyo session and I'm going to monitor it very very uh, very closely uh, all right now uh, you know my current exposure when it comes to the stocks so let's have a look what I have when it comes to the dollar and if you remember uh, I've been talking about my long dollar exposure that i'm building slowly long dollar exposure on both euro dollar and the cable right before we will jump to the chart let's get back to the uh the cases when it comes to the coronavirus right so we've seen what is going on in uk so let's uh, focus on the rest of the uh, eu italy we don't have to discuss this thing, right? The scary things are going on in France. The scary things are going on in Spain and the Germany, right? So overall, post Italy, looks like France, Spain, Germany, the biggest economies uh, inside the EU. Uh, it's like the spiral, right? Uh, I think, I think that the biggest case here uh, the politics are the biggest looks like the politics the eu uh 
cannot make the right decision. Finally, Italy, you know, after the huge, huge outbreak, finally they decide to make this ban. I really, really, really surprised uh, that France, Spain, Germany, I know open borders, fine, everything is fine. But when we have this, this type of the cases, come on, we can survive with three months or half a year with the borders are being closed, right? Can we? Yes, we can. Come on, guys. So I think they screw already, right? So let's get back to the charts because we've seen what's going on with the coronavirus in UK. We've seen what's going on with the coronavirus inside the uh, European Union. So, well, as I told you before, I've been building slowly the short euro dollar. I've been building slowly short cable, right? So as of now, today, huge reversal when it comes to euro dollar. The gap been closed, huge uh, engulf, right? I'm looking to add even more on any kind of the rally, right? So I'm looking to add into the euro dollar short around the weekly open, okay? Very similar situation when it comes to the cable. I had plenty of zones. I've been looking where those guys, where those manipulators, market makers can try to, you know, force me to get out what kind of the zone they may, they may try to use. But overall, we have huge sell off when it comes to the pound. Uh, coronavirus number one and budget tomorrow number two we are going to monitor this stuff very very carefully so yes what I'm afraid of right it's a little bit different story when what we discussed with euro dollar second ago it's a little bit different story I'm afraid we might have this over under building here right and it's a quite long distance to what we are talking about Monday low and then again weekly open, right? So a little bit more cautious here, but overall dollar positive for me right here, right now. So overnight monitoring my shorts on indices and staying long dollar, be careful guys, lower your exposure, don't be trapped and see you around. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take care. See you around.